Hey friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist for today's Schumann Resonance Report for Friday, July the 19th. Just a side note, today is my daughter's birthday. Happy birthday, Robin. You guys, this energy is no joke. This is a lot of energy. I don't know if you can hear it, but I woke up this morning. I am all kinds of out of sorts. My body is extremely sore. I did not sleep yesterday. Um, my throat is swollen. Um, <laughs> These physical symptoms are very, very strong with this. Um, I have to tell you guys, this this in meditation this morning, this was shown to me as wings of awakening. This is a massive global awakening that's taking place right now. Um, this energy comes in. Now it takes time for this to integrate and this much energy is going to take a lot of time to integrate. But as this energy comes forward, this is full of awakening energy. This is wake up, find your path, claim your life, make it your own. This, this, this is what that energy is. What that energy also is, is coming in underneath all the old energy and pushing a lot of it out. You see all this red up here and around this, this is a lot of release energy. This is trying to force out a lot of stuff you're not letting go of. Like, like, what are you holding on for it? Like your, your source, your higher self, your spirit guides are like, come on, come on, let me have it. Come on, let's go. Physical symptoms for this can be very, very strong. As someone who rarely to never gets sick, I actually feel like I got hit by a bus today. Um, trying to integrate this type of energy is really hard because you are not the same vibration as this. And so it creates a gap. And in order for that gap to be bridged, you have to change on a cellular level to embody more vibration. And that's where you feel those physical changes. For me, it's hitting me hard in the throat today. My truth speaking voice is coming out, friends. I also was told last night in a dream interaction I had with one of my guides, which was super clear and weird, and I woke up thinking I had actually been there. I was very disoriented when I woke up. Anyway, my guide told me that my gifts are upgrading, that something's changing, and this started happening in readings I was doing yesterday. It's like I was reading and channeling, and my guides, her words started coming out of my mouth. There were several times I said words that I would never normally say, and it was very odd. So be on the lookout for changes in the way you perceive your clairs. If you are just now starting to tune into your clairs, there's no need to get all tangled up in your head about it. The best thing you can do for yourself is not try to force it to happen, yet relax and allow it to happen. The other thing I can tell you is that your expectations of what it's gonna look like is not what it's gonna look like. Because society, movies, religion have all colored what we expect the clairs to actually look like. So be my, oh, keep an open mind don't have any expectations of what it's going to look like. One of the best examples I can give you is that as Claire audience started to come online for me, I was expecting to hear a voice. I was expecting to hear a voice outside of me giving me answers to my question. Because when you watch the movies, that's how it works, right? Wrong. That's not how it works. At least not for anyone I know and not for me. Claire audience comes in many, many forms as diverse as the amount of people there are. So keep an open mind. Claire audience speaks to me through tones and music. I hear music and I hear different tones and those carry message for me, messages for me for the people I am working with. So be careful that your expectations are not blocking you, friends. Truly. I did not pull cards for today because I felt like this was enough of a message. There's so much energy coming in. I didn't want to overwhelm us more than we already are. The other major symptom I'm going to tell you about is this has a lot of heat in it, a lot of heat. I'm literally standing here on my front porch in a short sleeve shirt and it's 64 degrees and I am pouring sweat because of this energy right here. It's such a big one. So today, friends, be mindful. Please be mindful. Rest, rejuvenate yourself, drink some good water, take some vitamins, maybe shore up your immune system so you don't get a cold or something as you are trying to integrate all this energy and please do what you need to do to help yourself feel better physically today there's nothing wrong with taking tylenol there's nothing wrong with taking what you need to take to help your body physically feel better i understand that some people really don't want to take medicine but if you are suffering why there's no glory in suffering i'm just saying as we go forward in our day today, I am out here so early, the sun isn't, isn't even up yet. It's right back there. But as you go forward through your day today, try to remind yourself of all the beautiful things around you, even if you aren't feeling so great. Man, it sure does help you appreciate your good health, doesn't it? Yes. So as you go forward today, send a little happy birthday wish to my daughter, Robin, who turns 22 today. She's a big grown person. <gasps> and just remind yourself that today, today's a great day, friends. It's a great day. It's a great day.